guys, Shane Starz with DroidMotorX.com. Today I'm going to show you guys safe strap on the Verizon variant of the Moto X. Now, as many of you guys know, Verizon likes to lock down their devices, and the bootloader on the Motorola X has not been unlocked. However, a few months ago, JCase, or just in case, did release the Pond My Moto root method, which also bypasses right protection. And with that, Hashcode was able to develop a custom recovery for the Moto X so that we can flash all the ROMs and modifications that we want to our device. So the way that SafeStrap works, if you're not familiar, uh, you have what's called an unsafe system. That would be your stock ROM. Uh, the stock ROM, you probably shouldn't change. You should keep that the same. And then you have four partitions where you can uh, install up to four different ROMs that would run on a safe partition. So the SafeStrap basically bypasses the lock bootloader and boots into recovery where you can flash ROMs on those four separate partitions. Uh, so if you just really like to test ROMs like me, uh, you can run up to four separate ROMs. So not only is it a way to bypass the bootloader, it's also a method uh, to multi-boot into several different ROMs, which is pretty sweet. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys real quickly how to install SafeStrap, and then we'll go ahead and boot into SafeStrap recovery, and I can show you guys uh, kind of how to use it. We'll do a quick walkthrough. Okay, so obviously in order to install SafeStrap, you will need to be rooted. So I'll include a link in the description to the Pond My Moto root application by just in case. Once you are rooted, you'll head to the link in the description, which will bring you to Hashcode's Roots Wiki thread, where you can download SafeStrap to your device. So you'll just scroll down and find it for your device. It's available for several variants here. It looks like Verizon, AT&T, and T-Mobile. So you'll just find your version. Mine is Verizon, and I've already got it downloaded. So once you have that downloaded, you'll want to get into the right protection bypass mode. Simply, uh, the easiest way to do that, or the only way to do that, would be to boot into recovery mode. So the way we'll do that is we'll go ahead and turn off the phone. Okay, once the phone is powered down, we're going to hold volume down and power at the same time. Then just release those. After a few seconds, we'll scroll down to recovery and then hit volume up to select. That will boot us into the right protection bypass mode. From there, we can install safe strap. Okay, so once you're all booted up into Android, uh, we're going to go into settings. Then we'll go into security and make sure that unknown sources is checked like so. Then we'll go ahead and install SafeStrap. So you'll just install this like any other application. You'll just kind of read the disclaimer and if you agree to it, click agree. And then you'll install recovery. And then you will reboot to recovery. Okay, so once you are in recovery, you do have a few options. Uh, first of all, we'll look at the different slots. As you can see, we're in the stock slot now. If we go into boot options, uh, you have four ROM slots. These would be your custom ROM partitions. If you open one, you can create a ROM slot here. This is where you can flash your custom ROM. So you'll choose a partition size, and then you would just select create ROM slot. And like I said, you can have up to four of those. Basically, SafeStrap works like Team Win Recovery Project. If you've ever used Twerp Recovery, then you already know how to use this. You've got functions like backup. Uh, you have uh, system mounts. You have some advanced settings. And then you can wipe data, cache, and Dalvik cache. So pretty much anything that you need to install mods uh, or ROMs is here. So probably the first thing that you would want to do is you'll want to go ahead and back up your system. This takes several minutes. We'll go ahead and let it do its thing. And then from there you can begin flashing ROMs. So guys, that about wraps it up for SafeStrap 3.61 for the Moto X. Like I said, it's available on Verizon, AT&T, and T-Mobile. Big shout outs to Hashcode for this development. We would not have custom recovery on these devices without SafeStrap. So like, like I said, once again, big shout outs to him. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the future. You can find more of me at DrawerMotorX.com. I'll have the latest in Android and tech news. 
Be sure to follow me on Twitter at DroidModerX. Once again, thanks for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.